Hello. My name is Timothy Trespass. And I'm a human being. A human being who found himself the target of other human beings' actions. And for no reason I could understand, for no reason, excuse, or justification I was told, I was then uh, entitled to be uh, infected with disease. Uh, of multiple etiologies and pathogenic origin. Um, and <clears throat> through the use of people's uh, affiliations, either through business or social, religious, governmental, secret, whatever, uh, a team of people who probably do this kind of thing usually uh, descended on my life and my wife to basically uh, what ended up feeling like drug us not just once but intensely over the course of several years which leads me to believe it's uh, something like an ergot infection or uh, something new that involves you know, genetics and, um, anyway. And, uh, we were infected with various types of parasites as though someone went around the earth collecting, you know, some of the most horrible, painful and undetectable creatures that were then distributed to us and everything we own in a weaponized fashion. Of course, we had no idea what to do, and by the time we figured out what was going on, it was probably way too late. And uh, the many efforts we made to rectify what had occurred thank you, um, were met with little to no success. Whenever we did have success, it appeared that more of these almost unkillable parasitic things were thrown into our lives and through various mechanizations we were robbed of almost everything we owned and had the rest of it destroyed and when we managed to put it back together I mean you know we've moved 15 times in the past five years and only recently has it been entirely our fault uh, we started out as quiet well whatever anyway so now here I am uh, suffering from post-traumatic stress, or ongoing traumatic stress, as I like to call it, uh, and from neurological trauma, so to speak, from uh, various infective etiologies, uh, suffering from microvascular ischemia in the left parietal and occipital lobe. Uh, whether this is uh, throughout the brain, I can't tell. Um, I definitely have some kind of fungal infection or some kind of infection in my nasal cavity and, and in my head. And also, uh, special care was taken to use parasites that make your teeth fall out. And I've shown photographs of these. It's very, very unpleasant torture to have tiny little, you know, uh, speck of dust-sized creatures work their way up into your gums between your teeth and then grow to a hundred, two hundred times their size, uh, thus pushing the teeth around and out and even pushing the jawbone, living and eating into the jawbone. And there are other creatures who actually eat the teeth. I have photographs of <clears throat> the tooth split in half with the, the dentine eaten in, in little munchy bites over and over and over, repetitive, and the, the root eaten in the same way with fibers everywhere. And it's quite clear that this was uh, not a blunt force trauma or something due to neglect. Uh, uh, we've had all kinds of infections and, and uh, you know, that we're still living at all is, is a surprise to me. We've suffered a great deal for simply being who we were and 
trying to live our lives without making too much trouble for ourselves and anyone else. Um, it turns out, it seems, that after closer inspection at my life and all the things in it, that uh, it's quite possible that I've been uh, a victim of uh, some type of human experimentation since I was a small child. And whatever is happening now is killing us, killing me, much more quickly and with visible disfigurement uh, than would be normal or natural to suffer the changes in facial structure, eyes sunk in and, and wrinkles that aren't actually wrinkles, the changes in skin and collagen and hair loss and regrowth and etc, etc, etc parasites living in and under the flesh. And, uh, now whether this is something that you're supposed to just live with because you don't know it's there, or whether it's something they do to uh, basically the equivalent of uh, crucifying someone and leaving them on the Apian way for all the passers-by to view, or as in the case of Idi Amin, hanging them on a meat hook in the town square until they perish. Perhaps this is a uh, less extreme, less visible, but subliminally more frightening concept that if, in fact, I am one of many, <clears throat> because through my research, it seems that uh, the, same type of <laughs> the same type of um, materials that are affecting me, he wanted to be in my video, so there he is, uh, are also being sprayed in the sky, uh, you know, out of the sky on the general public, uh, possibly in concentrations not as extreme as what we've experienced, being having it pumped into our room. There was an occasion where I chased a man out of the hotel uh, who ran out of his room carrying two tanks of something, a little bigger than a propane tank, but who knows, that might have all been an act, I can't tell. Technology exists that can read the human thought. Technology exists for full uh, in vivo tomography of living beings and interaction with nanoparticles, uh, nanomaterials, and nanocomposites. Also, uh, genetic engineering and synthetic biology have made it possible to use the parts of almost any living creature to reconstruct almost any other living creature uh, in the form of like an erector set. There's a kit being assembled by MIT and many other genomic laboratories. So anything that I can imagine uh, in the physical realm at this point is becoming possible. And none of my claims are truly that outrageous. If you learn some basic physics, biology, and uh, science, the human DNA structure uh, is not simply a code of amino acids to tell your cells how to organize. It is also a biological computer that um, puts out biophotonic energy, which is coherent. Uh, in other words, laser-like light energy in a frequency we can't see uh, is communicated by and from the DNA. Also, scalar radio waves. Um, many of you might not know about scalar electricity or scalar energy. They are beams with, uh, uh, with a, a direction or something, with, but not a... I don't know. It's missing one of the one of the things. And if you look at Maxwell's wave equations, you'll see that he put the the variable for scalar to zero, thus wiping it from the classrooms of people in physics for many many years. It does exist as a mathematical function, and in fact, uh, when you make electromagnetic energy and you cancel the electromagnetic magnetic energy out with a duplicate waveform. Uh, you know, in the same sink opposite, that energy is uh, transformed into the 
scalar realm. There's the magnetoelectric, the electromagnetic, and scalar. And if I'm missing something, I'm sure. I'm not going into Higgs bosons or any of that. Just real basics. Um, and these are point-to-point -point energy waves. See, my brain is so scrambled from what's been done to me. Uh, you know, uh, whether it was an ergot infection or whether... You know, who knows, whether they just gave me huge amounts of LSD or a whole variation, it doesn't matter. Uh, I survived it with some damage. And the biggest thing, see, this video is not even close to where I wanted to talk about because I spent all this freaking time trying to introduce myself and what happened to me because it's so out of the understanding and experience of most people and so frightening that most people refuse it and reject it because it's threatening to them uh, unless they seek this information they will not follow up on it and it stays in the background um, so I always say too much and never say enough um, anyway thanks for watching and God bless you all.